Dub, you are two weeks away from the first game of the season, and you start in Tampa at USF. What are your emotions like at this point of camp, knowing that you're so close to an actual game? You know, uh, I've been waiting for, you know, USF, you know, get the season started, you know, after UAB. Like, you know, after that whole season, it was like uh, I was already ready. You know, I can go again. And, uh, you know, it was a, it's been a long off season. you know, going to this fall camp. You know, it's exciting. The boys are excited. Uh, there's a lot of energy in practice, you know, um, a lot of learning and uh, just loving each other up. So uh, we're all excited. I'm definitely excited. Um, <laughs> It, it's it's a it's a word I can't even um, even express. Now you mentioned the UAB game, and uh, in speaking with many of your coaches, they talked about what a learning uh, experience that was for you—a very difficult learning experience. But how did that shape what you did in the off season and how you approached training camp? I would say, you know, like always staying humble and uh, hungry uh, when you have like, you know, certain games like that and everything like that. Uh, I was just very blessed to even be in Shreveport uh, and be able to play the game because it was in front of my family. They lived in uh, Shreveport, uh, Louisiana. They were born and raised there. So, you know, just the excitement from, you know, going out from that game and just saying like, you know what, uh, this season can't even be better than last season. Um, and I feel like, you know, the expectations is there, but it, you know, it comes within us, you know, we haven't earned uh anything yet so you know we just i'm excited like i just keep saying man. that's a that's, that's probably the perfect word and um i'm very optimistic going in this season what is it that's making you so optimistic that this season in spite of a perceptibly tougher schedule than last year that this season can be better than last season we, we got guys uh we got guys and uh i've never felt so just at home like with a program before and like, you know, just going into the season, like, you know, everybody just so just bought in and it's like, you know, this it's, it's a family environment where it's just like, you know, like I got your back, no matter uh, ups and downs, like, you know, this adversity, we're going to get through this. So, uh, yeah. As you look back on what you've accomplished at BYU and what you still want to accomplish, what's a top the goal list still for you? both individually and as a team? I want to win. Uh, I think the boys want to win. I think coaches want to win. I don't think this whole community wants to win. Uh, that's one and foremost. Uh, I want to make my family proud. Uh, I, want to, I want them to know, like, you know, I'm out there for them, and I'm out there to show and prove that I can be able to provide and uh, able to, you know, bring out happy faces to the community, you know, uh, you know, joy and the love of football. Um, I want to work on individually myself, like, you know, just keep playing consistent, uh, become the best, you know, one of the best DBs at BYU history. Uh, I want to, I have so many goals I could just list off to you. I want to catch my first pick. I want to, uh, you know, get pick six. It's so much stuff that I want to bring into this game for this team in order for us to win because, I cannot be great unless they're great. You feel me? I so I need them to, uh, you know, help me out as well. You know, when I'm down, I need them to bring me back up. And, you know, they, I hope they can see me, like, I can bring that out of them as well. Um, you know, this is, uh, is going to be a great season for, uh, for a lot of us. And, you know, hopefully for me, it's going to be uh, one of the best years of my college career. Hey, here's to a pick six, my friend, for sure. Caleb for Hayes sure. is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, we've seen some pretty eye-popping stats from you personally that have come out from some next-level metric services about your ability to cover downfield. And um, you don't give up many big plays, really, if at all. I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking about any big play that you've given up ever at BYU, and that's a credit to you. Uh, what is it that you're doing to make yourself better in that regard specifically. Like walk us through uh, your mindset and your mentality of what you're doing as a defensive back to, you know, put up those type of stats and, you know, in a way, create your own Caleb Hayes Island, like Revis Island back in the day. Uh, I would say, like, you know, I'm very greedy uh, when it comes to the football. So if I can't pick it, hey, you're not going to pick it as well. But, like, you know, I like uh, 
I don't like giving it up. Dude. It just feels bad. It makes me feel bad. It makes me can't sleep at night. Uh, you know, even if you catch a little pass, I'm going to think about it. And I'm going to watch that film over and over again, um, you know, and to fix my uh, mistakes. I can correct those. Uh, and then, you know, just playing within the defense, you know, coaches call great defenses. So, you know, I just play within it, you know, just know my keys and uh, my P's and Q's and know what I need to look at. Uh know where their tendencies are what they like to give up and then like you know what they uh explosive plays is um like i said i'm I'm just trying to be a guy to just provide on the defense so and uh in order for that i gotta eliminate those explosive plays i gotta play with my defense i gotta trust my safeties i gotta trust my linebackers my d-line to get their job done so i can get my job done as well you obviously are very, very hard on yourself and uh, meticulous in your preparation. So where do you feel like with that preparation, you have improved the most from last season to where you are right now today? I'll say like, I train ridiculously. Uh, <laughs> like it, it, and training, you know, people think like in our just backpedal, like, you know, go off and <laughs> no, I take time and I break things down. I, like some days, you know, I work on my press. I do my uh, square technique. Shout out to Anthony Brown, ground zero. Uh, I, uh, you know, I work on my transitions. I I, I try to uh, simulate zone uh, defenses where I can just, you know, know where my eyes need to be at. Uh, or, you know, I just even watch film and everything like that. Like, you know, like ridiculously, you know, <laughs> I, I think I watch more film. Um, film than TV sometimes, you know, like that just <laughs> that is what it is. But you know, even that, you know, I just try to take care of my body, uh, rehab, stretch, uh, do the little things, you know, uh, for in order for me to be great to prepare on the field and uh, you know, showcase my skills and talents. Now, Caleb, I'm looking at this BYU secondary and I'm seeing some guys, like you said, we got you said we got dudes. Yeah, you do. I mean, between you and Gabe Judy Lally and D'Angelo Mandel and Malik Moore, and I'm not going to list them all because it, the list is very long, but what is it about the secondary that you like the most right now, what BYU has in the past defense? Uh, I've only been here for, I guess you could say, a year ago on my second, but we're very close. The, uh, it's a very close group, and I feel like we just talk about a lot of things and just talk about, you know, just, you know, our goals and aspirations. Um, and, you know, we, in those transition into on the field, because, you know, now it was like, we have a better communication and like, you know, we can figure some things out. You know, these are uh, very talented guys, very experienced dudes. And uh, it's going to be, it's going to be great just, you know, just playing with them. I feel like, you know, we're, our IQs are getting higher. Uh, we're playing within ourselves and like believing, you know, we can do certain things because like, okay, I know his weaknesses. I know his strengths. So how can I play off of that? You know, uh, yeah, this DB group, I feel like it's going to, it's also, I feel like it's at least, at least top three, top two, honestly, <laughs> top one DB groups at BYU, you Let's know? Go. Uh, and, you know, and, but at the same time, you know, fellas, um, like I said, we haven't proved anything. You know, I can, I can, I, I can go off and on and on how much we, we're, we're going to be great and all that, but like, you know, it hasn't, we haven't hit like, you know, uh, the field yet you know we're not at usf right now to really showcase that but all we can say you know just trust in the process and you know uh like a saying that it's kind of in my head now i understand it's going to be a movie okay i can't wait to watch how that movie unfolds caleb um <laughs> while we're talking about your teammates who's the most competitive guy in the defensive back group i am probably okay. uh, besides <laughs> me Besides me, um, man, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. They all they all just want a piece of the pie. It's uh, it's great. It's so awesome, cause like you know, it's like every day is like, ah, is he gonna one up on me? You know, uh, you know, there was a competition. Who's gonna get the first pick of the um, um fall camp? And then also in game, you know, uh, I got one. So <laughs> I got one. So uh, no way I was going. So you know, uh, hopefully he just keeps on striding. We were just talking about that yesterday. Like you know, who's gonna get the first pick? Uh, who's gonna make the most plays? You know, so everybody: Gabe, Judy, D'Lo, Jacob, uh, Robinson, Jacob, Boren. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we now we got Maury Bamba. Um, who else we got? Shoot, even the freshmen: KG, Zion, 
all of them, you know, they all uh, is contributing in a way where it's like, uh, I can't let him one up me just because, you know, the room <laughs> is just that tight, you know, and then Coach G as well kind of, uh, you know, sparked that flame within the room. So it's kind of, it, it gets great and it gets competitive. And, you know, there's a lot of smack talk, but yeah, yeah, you know the real answer. You know the real answer. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. You go back to just the first thing you said. It's me. I'm, I'm the guy. Yeah. Uh, who do you enjoy defending against the most in practice among your teammates? Which wide receiver do you look across on? You're like, yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm digging this. <laughs> all of them. Uh, all of them got their um, talents, their um, strengths, and the, you know I have to always play differently with um, with each wide receiver. Uh, however, you know I'll have to give it up to uh, Puka, Gunner, and Cosper, uh, and Keanu, like one of those top four, probably in that order. Uh, like just because, like you know, they're a little bit more experienced. Uh, they know how to uh, you know move well, you know, play within their offense and then with their game. So. Uh, I feel like they watch a lot of film of me, you know, just had to one up on me. So uh, I just like that. And, you know, uh, I just feel like, you know, I always feel like I have a target on my back. So uh, I'm always going, when, I, when I'm always against those guys, I feel like, okay, I have to play uh, 100% honest and 100%, uh, uh, 100%, uh, how do you say it? Ah, oh, got tight. I got a uh, tongue tied. It's okay. Go 100% out yeah. on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's all in, right? You, yeah, you got to yeah. be, you got to be fully invested the whole time. Yes, sir. All right, Caleb. Uh, a couple more quick hitters before we wrap up. Um, your BYU experience. How would you sum it up? Uh, and and maybe more specifically, how has the BYU experience been different for you than maybe what you expected it to be when you first transferred to BYU? No, I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared, you know, just coming from a different background, coming from Oregon State. Uh, it's a big difference, you know, um, coming in, you know, before I try to, uh, you know, silent commit, you know, just uh, just try to you know, stay low, just like work on me and everything like that. But, you know, coming in and actually being on campus, I feel like there's a lot of uh, stereotypes and stigmas where people don't understand, like, it's different when you actually be here and like, it's a really a safe and uh, productive environment because like you're here and you you're here for the right reasons. You know, you're going, you're going to be here for the right reasons. And this school, this football, uh, these programs is going to help you with through life. And I feel like people's got to start uh, understanding, like, you know, uh, new recruits or whatever, understand like this place is really for us, you know, it's for, it's for the students. It's for the student athletes. Um, I'm a grad transfer, so I don't really be up on campus and everything like that. But just hearing from the guys and everything, like it's it's a uh, it's nice that they really care. And like you know, once you get that degree, it's like oh, you graduated from BYU. Oh, now you're locked in. You're family. Um, so like you know, this this environment is just uh, well put. You know, it's very um, it is it's the history kind of makes it. Uh, kind of makes it special you know for a guy like me to be here and like you know the, the environment is cool you know the people is uh chill and everything like that uh <laughs> like there's it's a lot to do like to be completely honest with you and uh yeah man everybody's just so family welcomed and it's just you know it makes you feel just homey you know for sure i can follow all right caleb uh last one here how close to game ready is this BYU football team? And if you're not already there, what has to happen for you to be game ready for USF in a couple of weeks? So me or the team? You can answer both individually and for the whole team. All right. So for me, I start off for me. Uh, I gotta just keep on watching and keep on just understanding. You know, they have a they have a new office coordinator, uh, so you know things can change every year. They're and then you can also take account, like, you know, that's a whole brand new team. So, like, they're, I feel like they're going to be really great uh, next year. Um, I expect nothing less from them. So, like, you know, my expectations for them is very high. And I'm very excited and very privileged to uh, play a team like that in Tampa. You know, I've never been to Florida. But, mm -hmm. however, you know, like, just loving the environment over there. Because um, they, they showed very great sportsmanship uh, at USF. Um, so for me, to, in order to prepare myself is to uh, not fear 
and like you know keep on doing whatever i got to do have confidence be game ready prepare and uh understand that i have a purpose this year you know i'm always kind of telling them like my teammates like my back's against the wall now you know there's no uh there's no hiding i can't hide from this you know <laughs> i have to just express and you know just love the game from here on out you know um which i've already have been but just, just keep loving this and like this is this my this this experience i'm gonna have is uh it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a great one. And hopefully my family members, um, everybody that supported me uh, and helped me out through my, um, throughout my life can see how great I'm going to be. Uh, and I hope I can, uh, you know, and I will project it on the field um, and show my teammates that, like, I will have y'all backs uh, and the coaches and all that. So it's just a sense of belief. I feel like for the team, let's keep on, playing our football you know um there's nobody that can stop us except for us you know we kill ourselves and um we just have to just keep on just just grinding and grinding because it's a day in day out they gotta get one percent better every day you know when we go out there we want to we can't be perfect however we want to play at least 90 percent football i got that from a wise man so if you ever heard that uh, <laughs> i understand now um but just you know, just keep on just coming at it because, like, you know, uh, we have a long schedule. We only have one bye week at the end of probably, like, after week 10. So it's going to be very heavy. So everybody has to be locked in. Everybody has to understand, like, you know, uh, we're going to – it's it's all or nothing, you know. If we want to be great, if we want to be top dudes, if we want to be the top – one of the top uh, football programs uh, in college football this year, we all got to do certain things to – you know, get better. And that's just the little things, taking care of ourselves, uh, loving each other, uh, showing love to the fans, um, to the opponents, and, you know, just play, like, just extraordinary football, you know. Um, I'm just very, I just want to say, like, you know, I'm just very blessed to be here. And I do appreciate, you know, every one of my teammates, every one of you, you know, even yourself in this interview, you know, I'm very privileged, you know. I can't, I can't express this enough. And it's, you know, the more I think about it and the more I, every day I <laughs> sleep, you know, about to go to bed, I just think about like, you know, this is, this is it. Like, this is, it has to be it. So uh, yeah, I appreciate everything, man. You got it. He is energized. He is excited. He is Caleb Hayes of 25th ranked BYU. He's got a pick six in his radar and many more great things. Can't wait to watch you play against USF in Tampa, man. Congratulations on all you've accomplished before and uh, good luck the rest of the way, man. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the rest of camp. We'll see you in Tampa very soon. Yes, sir. I love y'all, baby.